guys welcome back to the channel I'm so happy to have you here today and we're gonna check out some mods and I'm so so excited about it I love adding mods into my game to make it more realistic and fun some of these I've played with before and I just really want to share them with you guys and revisit them myself and some of them are newer and I'm just really excited to try them out I know a lot of people have already reviewed them but I want to see what they're like in my own game so I hope you guys are excited to check them out with me so for this first mod here is the toaster mod um, I've seen a lot of people review this already, but I'm very excited about it. I, I never knew I needed a toaster in the game until this was made. But yeah, I'm just really excited. So we'll look at some pictures, but there's like a toaster, of course. There's a few different colors and a lot of different uh, recipes here that I'm excited to try out, especially the avocado toast looks amazing, the peanut butter with banana. All of these look really good, actually. But yeah, very excited. Here's the different colors they come in. And yeah, it's pretty straightforward. You just make toast, but um, we definitely need things like this in the game. I'm always looking for new recipes and new fun things for my Sims to do, so excited about that. And before we move on to the next one, I do want to say this is by Dog. I believe that's how you pronounce it, but that is the creator of this mod. They have some really amazing mods. I'm going to link everything below. I always forget to say that, but um, yes, all the links will be below, so you can check these out as well. The second mod that I'm so excited about, I think it's going to add a lot of fun stuff into the game, is by Kawaii Stacy. She's one of the best modders out there. I love her mods so much. But um, yeah, after school activities, there's going to be so many fun ones to add into the game, and I'm just so excited. Here's a little bit of a list of them all, if we can even see them. It's such a long list, but yeah, a lot of fun fun clubs and things for the you know teens and kids to do. They just apply, and it looks like it's on the weekdays after school. Um, and there's 30 plus programs. That's amazing. So I'm very excited to check out some of those. The link for this will be below as well. You can check out her site. She has some amazing mods. And another creator that I absolutely love their mods is Little Miss Sam's mods. But these I've already kind of had in the game. Um, call a babysitter. So this is where you can actually call like a family member or maybe a friend, someone that you know pretty well in the game to come babysit. I thought that was cute to have like, you know, the grandma or grandpa come over and babysit just so they could spend more time with the kids. I think that's really sweet. I used to do that in my game, so I'm very excited to have this back. So I just think it adds a little more realism to the game. Instead of just inviting a complete random stranger to watch your kids, um, you can invite someone that you know. So I love that. And then this one also is kind of along that line. It's spend weekend with, and you can like send the kids to their grandparents for the weekend or, you know, some kind of family member. And I just think that's so sweet. I just love that they can connect. Um, so you can kind of read this here and I'll have the links below, of course. But yeah, we're going to check it out in game and just really great to get the family together. I love to do these kind of things because my legacy family is so large and I want to keep them close and all with a high relationship. So um, I really love these and appreciate these mods. And then this last one I just kind of stumbled upon as I was scrolling through. And I think this is so funny because, especially in university, I'm always trying to invite Sims over and they're like running around the campus and I can never find them. So I'm excited to just have this in the game. It might save me some time to find the Sims. So we'll check that out as well. But yeah, those are my mods and we'll go ahead and jump into game and see what they're like. So we're here with Finn and his household to check out these mods. I'm so excited. Um, yeah, let's just jump into it. I went ahead and got them a toaster and it looks like Leah's already cooking something else. So let's have Blair come down and actually make some toast. Uh, we'll do toast with avocado and while she's doing that, let's see if we can join one of these activities. So, um, let's see. I see some of the new interactions too, but I really want to check out these. Um, let's find a job. Maybe it's under jobs. Oh, here's all the, um, activities. So Anime Geek Club, Babysitter's Club. So for Joel, I definitely want to do like a sports related activity. We've got baseball, which is pretty good. Basketball team, We've got book reading, cheerleading. Oh, cheerleading's cute. Um, science club, debate and switch club. And we've got karaoke, drama was already won. Easel, film and yearbook, that's cute. Football team, I'm thinking the football team. Uh, gym member, history. A comedy club, K-pop club, fashionista club, pet sitters, oh that's so cute, public enemy club, uh oh, <laughs> gaming club, oh my gosh there's so many, but I think for Joel we're going to do the football team. So Joel is signed up for football, 
And it says Joel is now a tryout at school. He starts Monday at 4 p.m. Oh, we might have to skip forward a little bit here. But it looks like the toast is coming together nicely. So she's just waiting on it there. It's Oh, and it popped up. So cute. And yeah, there we go. The dish is in Blair's inventory. So we've got to toast with avocado. Oops, where did it go? Oh, there it is. Okay, let's get that out. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, we'll have her go and eat that. See if we get any buffs for that. Okay, so let's check out Joel. Oh, he's having a breakout too. They're both, <laughs> both having a hard time there. Got this here for the tryouts. It looks like he'll be there Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. So it says this activity affects character values, homework, health motives, body fat, body muscles, motor skill, and the fitness skill. Wow. So you could probably get, you know, more muscular and, and work out here. That's really cool how much it affects. That's really, really awesome. So he's already, it looks like he's level two. And his next promotion will be a member. So he's going to try out for the football team. That's so cute. Very excited for that. She's enjoying her toast here with a fork. <laughs> Poor Blair. I feel so bad. Look at her. Let's see if we can go ahead and do a daily treatment. So for Blair, I think I want to do this book reading club. And it says it affects character values, homework, health motives, creative creativity skill, writing skill, and the mental skill. That's really cool. I love how they each affect something different. That's really, really awesome. So we'll have her do book reading. So she will be going on Tuesday. So they'll both be gone on Tuesday. Um, but yeah, we'll have to check out Joel's on Monday and hers on Tuesday. Um, so while we're waiting for that, we'll check out some more of these mods. So let's pull the phone back up. And I think it's under here. So spend weekend with. So she can spend it with some of her family members and friends. So this is her friend Regina. I think that'd be cute. She could like have a little slumber party over there. Um, or her sister Ariel. That'd be really cool. That'd be really special to go spend it with Ariel in Brightchester and maybe do a little bit of a tour around the college. I think that'd be super special. Um, and then she's got her grandma Isley. So uh, let's see. Since it is Sunday, maybe she can go hang out with her grandma and let's see what happens. Where is she? Oh, she's up here. I'm here to pick up. Okay. Um, I guess Joel as well. So Isley's here to pick up Joel. Or maybe the mom had to do that. Oh, and Joel just left. Okay, so and maybe she'll pick up Charlie as well. Oh my gosh, they literally left the household. Oh my goodness. So I also want to see if she can have Blair go. So let's see. I don't think she can select Isley anymore, but maybe we'll take, we'll have Blair go to Regina's house. So there's her friend Regina. We'll have Blair go spend it with Regina. Oh, how cool. So um, I will be gone now. Call me when you want me to come home. Okay. So they can literally stay as long as they want. That's so cool. Especially if you have a lot of kids and you just want them out of the house. Uh, that's really, really cool. So Man, Finn and Leah have the house to themselves for once. So neat. One more mod that we should check out real quick is actually the Where Are You mod. So where are you? So these are all the people nearby. Um, let's see where Finn is at. I am right here. Okay, so he's here. So let's say he went for a jog and we just couldn't find him on the map. That's really, really cool. Uh, it definitely helps for university. I was having some issues with like invite, wanting to invite Deacon over and I just couldn't find him, but he was nearby, but like it, I had to look all over campus for him. So I think that's really cool. So I think Leah is wanting a snack. Let's go ahead and try one more piece of toast here. Let's do the Nutella. So Leah is just going to have her Nutella toast here, but I also think it'd be really cool with the spend weekend with mod to like send the parents away and the teens can stay home and maybe throw a party. There was that feature in the Sims 3 where like the, the adults of the household would go on a free vacation and all the teens would stay home and throw a party. So uh, I just think that's really cool. It just It's nice to clear up the house a little bit and let them focus on different things than being parents. Um, so yeah, just really, really fun. So I'll probably let them enjoy the rest of their Sunday evening and then we will wait till Monday when Joel and Blair are back and Joel can go to his football activity. I think that'll be really fun. So yeah, we'll, we'll catch up then. So Leah has been enjoying her time here away from the kids, uh, but I think we're going to go and invite them back. So you can actually go to the phone and call household member home. So the kiddos are back and they actually learned so many skills. It's kind of crazy. Um, 
Yeah, and like skills that I probably wouldn't have had them learn. So like the archaeology skill, uh, pipe organ skill, pet training, just a lot of different skills that they hadn't really been able to. So that's really cool. Uh, but they're all back and Joel is going to be getting ready for his football tryout. So yeah, I really liked the spend weekend with that is so, so cool to actually have them leave the household. That's really awesome. Um, also it'd be cool if you could, there might be a mod I haven't checked. I'm probably going to look after this video, but if you could invite them to your household for like the day or the weekend, cause that's something I really want. So um, I'm excited to check that out actually. Okay, so it says Joel's a bit occupied right now. Should he still go to work? So he does need to go to work. Uh, so let's see, I think he'll head there. So he's off at his football practice. So we'll see if he can level up on this. I'm not sure, it doesn't say he can work hard. Um, so it might take a few times, but that's really neat just to have him head out of the house for the evening. So really the whole premise of this video is just to get the kids out of the house. Um, looks like he didn't bring home any money, which makes sense, but he also uh, leveled up in his conflict resolution and he's already in range to earn a trait, but it also, and he has also got more responsibility too. So that's really cool. That actually helps out a lot with those character values because I know I struggle with those sometimes, getting them up. But yeah, wow. So um, does he have any moodlets here? I don't think so. Boring work. So he didn't really like his practice today, but he's, you know, got to go tomorrow too. So yeah. Oh, it looks like he got some homework done as well. Interesting. So wow, those are actually really cool. Um, but we'll zoom on to tomorrow and then Blair can go to hers and he can go to his as well and see if we can level it up. So Blair and Joel are home from their school day and they're going to be headed to their after school activity pretty soon. Joel is going to take a shower. He's, he's not feeling the best, but uh, I think he's sick as well. But I still want him to go. <laughs> so, um, and then Blair will have hers as well. Maybe in the meantime, she can have a quick bite of toast. So maybe some toast with butter. She'll go and have a few bites and then she'll head off to her work, which is the after school activity. And Joel's headed on his way as well. Oh, oh my gosh, he wore his clothes in the pool. Um, but yeah, I don't know if we'll get them leveled up in this, but I do think I will, of course, play with this family some more, and I do want to keep these after-school activities for them, so we'll probably play them in my actual, like, gameplay that I share with you guys. So if you do want to see more of it, just keep watching my Winchester Legacy where I show these guys off, uh, but hopefully Blair will go ahead and make it to her little activity here. So it looks like she's already acquired the writing skill just by leaving. That's really cool. So... They will definitely get their skills up. That'll be great for university and for when they're older. Oh, it says Joel has met Archer after school. Relationships will, with others will either progress or worsen over time. It all depends on Joel's mood after school. And his mood is not very good right now. That's really cool too. That's almost better than when they go to school. They're learning more skills. They're making friendships and improving friendships, improving their character values. That's amazing. It makes you wonder why like the classes that they already have in game don't have a lot of these perks that these after school activities have because this is really amazing. Um, it makes you kind of wonder, but um, anyway, I'm glad we do have this. That's why I am so thankful to all the modders out there and the CC creators. It's just, it's just awesome. And Joel met another friend, so he's making a lot of friends. And wow, they're back from their class. But wow, so they've gotten their values almost all the way up, Joel does. And Belair is doing really well too. She's got plenty of skills. That's so cool. This mod is really great. I do, hi I highly recommend it for you guys. Okay guys, so I popped over here at this other household. It is in my family that I play, um, but I haven't shared it with you guys yet. I'll show you their family tree really quick. So it's the other side of the family. Um, it's Harley's son. So this is Isley and she has Finn with the household we were just in and then Reed and Aurora, which is another family I feature on my channel. But um, yeah, so this is Isley's brother, Harley. He's the oldest of the three. But anyway, he has twins. He has Bentley and Bailey, and this is Bentley with his wife, Dakota, and their two boys. So they have a child, so that's why I wanted to hop over here and check out the babysitter mod. But this is their little home in Del Sol Valley. He is like a gaming YouTuber, SimTuber. 
and his wife Dakota is actually like a Simstagram model and they've got a bunch of pictures here of their wedding. I really love their wedding. They have two boys. They have Atlas who's a child and then they just had Talon recently. So this is her studio here where she takes her pictures uh, for Simstagram and then his little like gaming setup here too. So, so yeah, they're really cute. They're fun to play. Um, here in Delso Valley. But anyway, basically I want to try out the mod. Oh, also before we do that really quick, I want to see if as a child, if they have any more um, activities or any different activities. So let's check that out really quick. So it looks like he has pretty much the same. He does have daycare center. Oh, wow. So you can just send them to daycare if you want to uh, just have them home like if you work. I think that's really cool. Um, so that also does social skill, mental skill, charisma, homework, and oh, their homework too. That's really neat. Uh, but yeah, I think pretty much the same. Uh, just the daycare is the only one different. So that's really awesome. So let's have Mr. Bentley here call for, I bet it's probably under hire a service. Oh no, call a babysitter. So it's its own little thing here. So that's so cool. You can, of course, invite, he could invite his sister Bailey over to watch the kids for a while or his dad or his mom Morgan so the grandparents can spend some time with the kids so let's have Morgan come over of course I could babysit today I will be there in a few minutes oh that's so awesome so we'll have Atlas come give his grandma a hug oh there she is oh so we'll give her a hug I think that's just so special so she's arrived we can go ahead and give her a hug oh they're already hugging that's so sweet. It's just so nice that they can spend some time together and get to know each other more. Um, oh, I love it so much. So this mod just really adds that realism and keeps the family close, which is what I'm always trying to do in my game. I just think this is so sweet to have the grandparents come over and I'm just I think it's really cute and it could be even like the aunts or uncles or you know just anyone in the family come babysit it could even be like a cousin or like a teen in the family that needs a little extra money and just wants to help watch the kid on the weekend or however I think that's so cool so I think I'll go and end the video here I hope you guys enjoyed these mods I'm very happy to have them in my game I think it just adds so much realism and extra gameplay in the game and I just really enjoy them so if you guys need any of these definitely look in the description box I have all the links for you and yeah I will see you guys very very soon bye